Well, uh, from the book then, this is a poem about pleasure, a landscape of pleasure this is, called U To Utopia. Strolling up along a rocky mountain pass, to a world so green, so very full of grass, travelling up along to pastures new, in a world so very clear, under a sky so blue, we arrive at the country of no time at all, not in this realm of space, in the shire of nowhere, in a town called some place. Now some place boasts proudly a colourful array, a dream town in nowhere with a brighter, breezier way. As a towering medieval buildings, transparent or colourfully opaque, reflect thoughtfully on two the tranquil lake. Within illuminated illusions under a pleasurable, poisoned yellow sky, cleaning myself of reality, delightfully I cry. A manner in the wilderness, the smells of intrigue and allure. Don't want to find an antidote, let's forget about a cure. Right, here we go. Poem from the book. Here we go. Right, what we got? Let's have a look. It's called Washed Up. It's about a journey, an epic journey from the depths of the sea onto the shoreline. Right, this is how it goes. It feels like there's no escaping the blindingness, the darkness of fear. So deep and dark are these waters that the sun cannot shine down here. My face is straight. I feel deep emotions as I speak. And imagine the tears of sadness are rolling down my cheek. Sadness cleans my mind, it clears my clouded head as I am swimming in emotions through the watershed. Through turbulent murky waters full of stress and distortion onto a never-ending shoreline with all its complications. Persistence waves keep rolling into shore. But there's undercurrents of doubt because although the waves keep crashing in, the tide is moving out. So here I am like a voyager, like a crustacean in another land. A lost stranger stranded, washed upon the sand. Right then, um, something's been bugging me, right? Um, just lately, the government. Governments have been talking about austerity, talking about tightening the belt. Well, um, obviously it's not good, I'm not happy about that, I'm not happy about it at all. Um, there's always plenty of money for wars, there's always plenty of money for politicians who get a big, big wage, they get a lot of money. And that's without expenses. With the expenses that they get on top, they have a ridiculous amount of money. Um, just the wages alone is about five times more than mine. But with the perks that they get on top, um, it's obscene. It's wrong. Um, we're all in it together. Rubbish. We're not all in it together. Some of us are in it, and some of us aren't. Um, most of us, the general hard-working people, um, we're going to have some problems if these austerity measures take hold, because it's the poorest people that get hit hardest. And I'm sick of the government, politicians and that, talking about the unemployed taking taxpayers' money. Um, it's not a happy life to be unemployed. When politicians take taxpayers' money, then their lives are vastly improved because they get such a lot of money. And they keep calling themselves honourable. The right honourable this, the right honourable that. Well, just how honourable are politicians? Well, in my book, they're parasites. And as for the government, what does it do for the people anymore? Governments look after themselves. They argue amongst themselves. They fight each other. But what about the real people in this world? 
So you get dragged along, pushed into battles, power struggles. There's a lot of trouble, and a lot of it is caused by governments. Not the people in the street, by governments. And there's a lot of organised trouble caused by governments. Um, they like to divide and conquer. I know how it works. They cause the trouble and then they sort it out. And then they say, you need us to sort this trouble out. And the government start the trouble in the first place. Um, what's happened to civil rights? I mean, I have noticed what little rights people have now as to what they used to have. The way people are treated and gradually people are accepting less. Um, I mean, little things turn into big things. Like, let's make an instance. Let's take uh, the hourly rate. So you do a job and you get your hourly rate. But what about unsociable hours? What about working nights, weekends? We used to get more money, we used to get time and a half, double time. Now, we don't get anything. Anything more, it's flat rate all the way through. That's all we get. And it's acceptable now, people accept it. And I mean, I have this idea that if you can't make a full-time job pay, then there's something wrong somewhere, desperately. Um, I mean, we all need time off. We all need a break from work, from the responsibilities and that. Um, so, I mean, if you put an extra day's work in in the week, You've also lost the extra days free time, but you're not going to get that. And if you think about it, that is good grounds for getting double pay because not only do you gain extra working time, you lose your free time. So if you think about it, all overtime should be double time. And these employers should pay for that. Um, we go on about competition. Who are we competing against? Governments can print money. Um, why have they been so many? Quantitative easy. Um, I mean, it's something that you say when you're a kid. Why don't they print more money? And I know I've been told, well, there'll be inflation, don't no, sorry, that's that. Well, it seems to be a good idea. Now, for some reason, suddenly it's a good idea, quantitative easing, print more money. So why is it a good idea now? I don't think a lot of these economists know what's what. I don't think they know what they're doing. Just a load of baloney, a load of rubbish. Expect to believe what they tell us, and they don't know. They're guessing. That's all we do, just guess. And these politicians, making out that they know what they're doing, but they don't. They're guessing. And they know better than anybody else. So don't believe the hype. What a load of rubbish this government is. What a load of rubbish the people in charge telling us and they don't know what to do. What a load of idiots. 